So I just got back from Brazil, the uh, big Embarcadero Developer Conference down there, which is so exciting, so much fun. Thanks to everybody that was there. And I wanted to go live and uh, show some of this stuff I just got. I got in the mail while I was gone, so it's like gone for a full week. But for some reason, OBS was not working right, so I'm just going to record a video and I'll upload it. So I got a bunch of packages, and I have some ideas what some of them might be, but I don't know for sure. I guess I should not put my address up there, although if you really care, I'm sure you can figure it out. It's not like I'm that much of a mystery. <laughs> uh, so this one, I believe, is from uh, M5 Stack, which if you've seen what I've been talking about lately, yes, it is M5 Stack. I, uh, Boyan Mitov and I just discovered these guys, and they're amazing. It is M5 Stack. I didn't think to get scissors or a knife or something, so I guess I'll just tear this open. Uh, they make little... Uh, Internet of Things, they're kind of a little bit more ruggedized than regular Internet of Things thing packs. Um, so they make all these little cool, yeah, this is just, wow. <laughs> these were on back order. So they make these, um, if you ever done anything with like Arduinos or, uh, thank you dear for the scissors. If you've done anything with like Arduinos or ESP32s, usually you get these little raw boards, which I don't have one. Oh, actually I do have one. Here. So this isn't an Arduino board. So you have these uh, raw circuit boards with pins and USB connections, and they're you know fairly reasonable price usually. So what M5 Stack does though is they make put all the little sensors and stuff in these nice little cases. So this is a RFID sensor, um, and this is a laser receiver because lasers are cool. So in Brazil, I took down a whole bunch of, uh, so this is the laser receiver, a bunch of M5 stack uh, sticks, M5 sticks, C's, and for all the attendees, not all the attendees, but for a lot of the attendees, and some uh, M5 stack cores for MVPs. So that was very exciting, very cool to see everybody down there, and everybody's real excited. Actually, some people have started posting some of the cool things they're doing. Uh, the great thing about the M5 sticks and M5 stack core is their ESP32 based, so they have um, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and Bluetooth LE integrate on the board. And so that means you can build a Delphi app on your mobile that can talk to the devices and do all sorts of great connected stuff. So very cool. That was from M5. It was a big box for not a lot of things in it, but that's all right. So next I have a little, uh, so this says it's a double-sided PCB. So this, and I think most of these, are probably going to be for my open uh, Enigma project. So I've always been fascinated with Enigma machines, and a few years ago, I was trying to find pictures of it. Uh, was it was 2012, I think. I was in D.C. for Delphi Developer Days. Yeah, so this is uh, PCBs to, uh, that you can put stuff on. So you can just solder pieces on here. Um, Delphi Developer Days, and Jay was there, and he's like, hey, there is a the Cryptological Museum. We should go check it out. I'm like, oh, I love cryptology. So we went there, and they actually had an Enigma machine you could use, and I'd always thought Enigma machines were fascinating, but especially getting to play with one. It was very cool. And so recently I found a website, um, which I'll put a link someplace here, that where you can has a, a instructable on how to build one yourself. So I ordered a bunch of different parts, and that's what a lot of these coming in here are. So this says cables, so that's probably not going to be very interesting, but it might. I found sometimes, so I got a lot of these parts on AliExpress, and they don't always label the uh, description of contents very well. I'm not sure why. But this is a cable. I don't know why it's a cable, but kind of cable it is. I'll have to go through my order. Oh, I know what this is. This is enough. That doesn't seem like as much as I thought it was going to be. This is three meters which I guess is quite a bit of cable. So this is on the front of the, uh, it's got two, two conductors in it. You can see that. On the front of the Enigma machine, there's these cables that you plug into this plug board to remap the letter. So the Enigma machine, if you're not familiar with it, lets you uh, encrypt messages, what the Germans used during the war, which is what uh, Alan Turing built the first general purpose, well, fairly general purpose programmable computer, to break the Enigma encryption. And uh, so the idea is you punch in a letter and then it gives you a different output. 
So there are these cables in the front that you could plug in and plug back or to switch letters up as part of the ways of making the encryption better. The so this is this uh I don't know if you can tell or not in the video, but the lights kind of come and go on. Well, the window's open here. It's got this um what's the term I'm looking for? Woven like fabric cover on the outside, so it's supposed to be more like the cape on the uh Enigma machine buttonboard. So that's what that is. That's exciting. Uh let's see, what do we have next? This says screws. Again, <laughs> Not incredibly exciting, but we'll open it up and take a look at it if it is actually. It is. Oh, so these are screws I got for the M5 stack project. So I got some from them as well. But these are uh, the same screws they use to hold the modules together. I should do a, I'll do a video about the M5 stack stuff. So cool. Uh, so that's screws for that. Now, this one I think was a gift actually. It's from SparkFun. Which I don't recall ordering anything from SparkFun recently. So I have no idea what it is because it's a gift. Not from me, but I don't know. Not from you? It's paper. So I have a WRL 155. Oh, Artemis Things Plus. I heard about this. These are like really powerful little single board computers. Um, Spark Fun Edge 2 TensorFlow? What? That's pretty amazing. That's a TensorFlow module powered by TensorFlow. Uh, so, this is like you do uh, neural network stuff on here. Uh, development. Yeah, so it's Artemis. So, there's Things Plus, Spark Fun Things Plus, and uh, Spark Fun Edge 2 development board, both from Artemis, which is this new. Uh, series. So yeah, I know who this is from. I'm not going to say his name just because I don't know if he wants me to say he sent me some gifts. He mentioned he was sending me some gifts. So thank you very much. They came. I'm very excited about that. Um, he actually is the one that sent me this free skill thing as well. <laughs> Guess what, dear? I'm not going to have any free time. i got too many things to play with. <laughs> different than normal house? Yeah, I know. You're not surprised. Okay, uh, again, this is uh, I have no idea. This just came from the U.S. Most of the uh, AliExpress stuff comes from China. Oh, wait. So under the tape, I see a China shipping label from China, but then over the tape, I see a shipping label from the U.S. So, like, they shipped it from China to the U.S. and then from the U.S. to here. Because under the tape, it has to me from an address in China. So that's kind of weird. Does it have it says phone case? I did not order a phone case. And that not a phone case. Yeah. What's this like a really small phone case? They make some really have you seen those really tiny phones they make? They make these like really tiny cell phones. Mostly for prisoners is my understanding is the big people in that because they smuggle them to prisoners like a lot of those. So this is batteries. Lithium ion uh, cells. I guess technically they're cells, right? Because a battery means a collection of cells. So these are two cells that I'm going to use to power my Enigma machine. Uh, NCR 18650B. That's true, because there's rules about mailing batteries. So that's probably because usually when you get something with batteries, it's got like a big warning label on the outside, and this does not appear to have any of that even before it's covered up. All right, cool. So the power cells are here. Description sticker. Okay, this is not for the Enigma machine. This is for. Um, I occasionally buy stickers either for myself or to give to people. Oh, I got more of these. These are Stranger Things sticker pack. Actually, so I have this one already. This is awesome. See, I have there's. You can't see it, but this guy right here is the. Demogorgon Venom crossover sticker. It's already in my water bottle. So I just got this water bottle for my trip to Brazil. It's 40, I know this is very exciting, but it's a 40 ounce water bottle uh, with the, it's a Coleman with the vacuum seal double line, so like the uh, hydro flasks. So it's supposed to keep water cool for 50 hours or something like that, which 
I haven't had water in it 50 hours, but I can fill it up at night and it'll be cold in the morning. So I got that for Brazil. Usually I take a water bottle with me when I travel. It's like a regular, like, uh, smart water bottle. But I thought it would be cool to have one that I could keep, reuse and keep using. And plus, um, I wanted one that had a large mouth on it. So I could put ice in it because I love ice water. But then I also got a Sawyer filter because even though in Sao Paulo the water is supposed to be drinkable, the tap water is supposed to be drinkable, it doesn't taste very good. So a Sawyer filter, which is a pretty good job of getting rid of the taste out of the water. All right. So next thing here, so I got some stickers. So I'm probably giving, this is a new pack. I didn't have this one before. This one I've, I've had before. So I will probably be gifting those to people that like Stranger Things. Wave Gat? No description of where it is. It is also from a location in the U.S., but it may have had another sticker underneath. So that's interesting why they would mail it from China to the U.S. to remail it. Because I know these at Smart Post, which is where Smart Post is where like, you send it UPS, I think. And the UPS goes to the local post office, and the local post office delivers the address. Oh, okay, so this is the AT Mega that's going to power my uh, uh, Enigma machine. Cool. So this is what a regular IoT board looks like. It's just a raw board with places where you can plug things into it, USB connector. So, all right, cool. So that's, that's here. I'm making a little mess here. I'll clean this up when I'm done. And the next thing here, the instruct the contents are integrated circuits. Some of these are so descriptive. Looks like another phone case. The phone case is the battery before, that's right. Ah, this is the power adapter so that I can charge the power cells. It has the uh, nine volt output. One amp, nine volt one amp. That doesn't sound like what I wanted, but I'll check and see. I don't recall exactly what it's supposed to be. All right, next thing in here. This has more screws. How many screws do I need? I don't think this is for a nickel machine. This is probably for something else that I got. Or, oh wow, yeah, this was because it was cheaper to buy a ton of these screws than to buy a couple from a different source. So, yeah, but I'm not gonna run out of screws for a while. Okay, what else is in here? The, oh, wait, there's another one. This is pins. Okay, so this is probably header pins. So interestingly, the first bit of stuff I got for the Enigma machine was some header pins, which I think are still in that box there. And uh, they were the last thing I ordered. No, the first thing I got was the, oh, they're right here. This is the first thing I got, which is the num numeric display. So the original Enigma machine did not have LED displays. So this is a replica, a functional replica. Didn't have an Enigma, or a, Arduino inside of it either. It wasn't electronic, it was electromechanical. So it's not a faithful reproduction, but it is a functional reproduction. So that was the last thing I ordered. It was the first thing I got along with some header bits. Oh, this is not, oh, Emily. These are for my daughter. I got something for you. Yeah. <laughs> And? Oh, she's got a little bow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Somebody, actually I love bunnies too, and so does Emily, so. Oh, he's got a carrot. Oh my goodness. All right, that's everything I got here, it looks like. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Hello. Yeah, that's everything. I got some other stuff in my box here, but I've already opened it. These are some more m 5 tack components that uh, really go out and check out m5stack.com. These are the the modules they have. They're a little more expensive than buying like a raw ESP32. This is an ESP32, but getting a raw ESP32 board is a little more expensive. They're a little cheaper than the M5 Stack ones. But the M5 Stack ones have a screen, a battery, a case, and some other stuff all in one box. So it's a really, really nice system. And so the cool thing is they call them M5 Stack because you can stack up these modules I've got a few modules here I can stack up with them. I shouldn't have that for right now. All right, cool. So 
that was my opening the box. I will be doing more of these because I have a lot more parts coming in the mail and I'm very excited about it. And then once I get all of them here, I'll start doing videos on the assembly of my uh, Open Enigma project.